Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. As you can see, uh, up in Vegas this weekend. And for those of you, happy 420 that indulge in those type of things. Um, right over there is the Vegas airport. But what I wanted to tell you guys is start a business. And I'm going to tell you why. All these companies are having these major layoffs, even it's starting to roll over into the fast food, okay? But here's the thing about it. If you work in a job, do not quit your job, all right? Now, here's the reason why. Because if you've been on your job for a couple years and you start a business, say that you need to try to get like a, a business credit card, a business line of credit, or a business loan, right? and they need to see uh, some type of security, right? Or how long you've been on a job and stuff. You don't wanna look like a startup just starting out, all right? The reason is, is because if you put on the application as a new startup and they go to pull your credit and they say, well, you no longer work at this job or whatever, do you have something else? You don't have anything else to prove to them that I actually do this. Now, most credit cards, please understand with most credit cards they are stated income all right stated income but one of the biggest advantages you would have is making sure that you try to get as much funding as you can before you leave your job so even like you are probably doing a side hustle now but you're not structured as a business you should structure yourself as a business now some people are probably worried that well why do I have to uh, report everything to the uh, IRS police, which is FinCEN, which I made a video about. Now, here's the thing about it. Something like that, I wouldn't pay too much attention to. It's, it's a basic form. I teach you in the video uh, how to fill it out and stuff. is no biggie, right? But one of the biggest things is, again, when trying to get funding. So... If you are doing a side hustle or you are in a independent contractor and stuff like that, right? Most people say, well, if you're a sole proprietor, then it's nothing to worry about. But here's the thing about it. There's a lot of financial institutions that won't touch you if you are a DBA or a sole proprietor, okay? And because they're not willing to work with you it's better to just structure yourself now in terms of the structure which is the best structure well the thing about it is that when it comes to the best structure i myself i don't use a pass-through for all the companies my clients we set up we always set up regular corporations not llc's or as corporations but there's a reason why we do that and the reason for that this is a you can see MGM and then you have a, what is that? Um, anybody put it in the comments, what, I forget the name of that one, uh, but no one, nonetheless over there by New York, New York. But at the same time, in terms of um, structuring the business, it's because when you structure your business, say as an LLC or S corporation, what ends up happening is that especially as a one owner a lot of financial institutions they look at you uh as not a growth company and it's actually documented in the legal legal uh in the legal terms it's actually documented that they don't look at you as a growth company that's the reason i tell people when they're starting up the business you may not want to choose an llc now does that mean for you to dissolve your LLC and start over? No. No, that doesn't mean for you to do that. But moving forward, just so that you can have a better understanding in terms of raising capital, it's better not to use an LLC, okay? Because there, yeah, so you can use an LLC. You can even be a DBA, but I'm just saying that when you are those type of um, structure, and DBA is not a structure at all, you you're going to uh restrict yourself on the amount of capital you're able to raise yourself right but one of the things again if you run a business or excuse me if you work in a job you really should start a business 
I don't care if it's delivering pizzas on the weekend or anything like that. You need to do, have something setting yourself up and starting to build up that business capital, that business credit. Because with these companies now, they are letting people go. People are being surprised and end up, they go get a new car, they go get a new house. And when they do these type of things, what ends up happening is that where they figure that, oh, this job, I got this job or whatever. But the thing about it, because they laid you off, then that income is not coming in. Now, granted, again, now this is interesting because I was telling you about the structure. You will qualify for like uh, unemployment benefits until you find another job and stuff. But at the same time, if you're not in a pass-through structure, then you're not only able to keep your unemployment benefits, but you're able to work under that company as well. So there is a way to do it so that until you get on your feet. Now, in terms of once you structure the business and everything, again, that's like the biggest part. But the main reason, like I said, is if you have a job and you trying to, uh, uh, you hear that you may get laid off or something like that. Start a business right away. Don't wait around. Don't if ands and but. Also, even if you don't work that business right now, you should start it and let it age and apply for a few business cards and stuff and let it age because the older the business is, the more capital you're able to uh, raise under that business as well. Now, I know some people say, well, I'll go get a chef corporation, but here's the problem with the chef corporation is that when you buy a chef corporation, all right, most of the time they haven't filed the taxes, they haven't kept up on the taxes, and there's no business bank account. If you can look down here, down at Top Golf, where is that? Sorry, uh, let me bring it in. I was just seeing it too. Uh, trying to show you guys something. Oh, there it is. You see the Jumbotron down there? So, well, people pay, playing golf, they got the Jumbotron and stuff. Anybody that's ever been uh, to the Top Golf, uh, I'm not a golfer. Uh, never had the experience, but let me know what you think. You know, should I take it upon myself to go over there and play sometime just to see what it's like? You know, I see people that look like they're having fun, you know, but nonetheless, uh, back to what I was saying when it comes to uh, chef corporations, a lot of uh, people that buy these chef corporations they find out that because they buy these chef corporations, they haven't filed the taxes. And if the chef corporation is in another state, you still have to register that chef corporation in your state as well. Plus, you have to file taxes in both states. Even though that other state may not have a state income tax, you still have to file because you're registered in that state. And it will make it challenging for you to actually raise capital because of the parent company actually registered in another state. So it's a lot of challenges when it comes to a chef corporation. And so by you working now and you start up a uh, chef, cor excuse me, you start up a company now, even though you may not use the business right now, down the road, if you can start applying for like small business credit cards and stuff like that, helping the company age and stuff, then you're able to get fifty, a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars. So say that your job let uh, let you go or whatever. At least you already have capital. So if you want to do any type of real estate investing, buying your couple cars on the side for Toro or you may want to play with the markets or something like that, you already have position. All right. Now, for those of you that may have questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, or removing negative items off of the credit, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.